Keegan Smith here from uh, CoachKeegan.com. Today I'm talking with Tyler LeBaron. He's uh, an expert in molecular hydrogen. So Tyler's background, a little bit about him, is uh, in biochemistry. He's currently a, a university professor of physiology at BYU Idaho. Um, so he's obviously uh, spent a lot of time thinking about science and thinking about how cells work and chemistry and all that stuff uh, that underpins what we're going to talk about today. Uh, he's been been researching hydrogen since 2009. And can you tell me a bit about? Um, you said that in in Japan they had uh, it was available even in in some of the gyms, the public gyms. Is that? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, hydrogen it, it's a big deal in Japan. You know, it's kind of the uh, the buzzword, if you will. In fact, at one of the uh, gyms that I went I went to while I was there, like you were saying. Um, that there was a hydrogen water dispenser, so you could you could go and fill up your your bottle with with hydrogen water. So that was pretty neat. It is a very very common, very popular thing, and and rightly so because as I mentioned, there's lots of scientific research that are just exponentially growing. A lot of it's coming from Japan. There's um, there's been oh, about uh, 80 different human disease models uh, studied where hydrogen is shown to have marked therapeutic effects. You know about 350 or 400 articles or so, um, so showing molecular hydrogen's benefits. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing that there is so much research there, but I guess this stuff does take time, and um, that's, that's why it's exciting to be able to talk to you today. Um, let's go into a little bit about why it is that this stuff makes such a difference and, and, and if, it's, if it's safe. Yeah, certainly. Um, one of the things to, to think about with hydrogen, you mentioned antioxidants earlier, and you know, free radicals and antioxidants. That's been a discussion for a long time, and we can talk about more detail about this, you know, soon. But um, just briefly, hydrogen gas has been shown to be an, an antioxidant. In fact, that was the article published in Nature Medicine, and it's really neat because when hydrogen gas scavenges these radicals, the byproduct it produces is water as opposed to some other or you know organic compound that needs to be you know oxidized rejuvenated or eliminated or, or something or metabolized or something like that when hydrogen gas scavenges the radical it just produces water and, and that's that's the neat thing um, and it's so small hydrogen like I said is the smallest element and it's uh, you know, lipid soluble, so it can easily get into the cells and the subcellular compartments where they can scavenge these radicals. You know that are that would normally damage the DNA and you know cause problems. Where, is, where does hydrogen come from, other than if you know, other than from the form of a supplement? Yeah. So you know, great, great question. I mean, you could, uh, um, you know, like you could you could bubble hydrogen gas in into you know water or something and drink that, or you could just inhale hydrogen gas, um, or you could you know like some magnesium metal or some of these um, alkaline earth metals. They will actually react with water to produce hydrogen gas because water is H two O and hydrogen is H two, so there's hydrogen there. So when the, these alkaline earth metals react with the water just produces hydrogen gas, H2 gas, and so there's lots of ways it comes. Also, you know, from bacteria, um, like actually in the uh, in the intestines of of, of humans, um, a lot of hydrogen gas produced. And actually, that, that goes back to your question earlier about the safety of hydrogen. Is it safe? And very interesting, you know, the bacteria in in the uh, GI tract produce. You know, up up to 10, even 15 liters of hydrogen per day. Now, when we consume hydrogen-rich water through through a, through a beverage, we're only getting around 50 milliliters to 200 milliliters of extra hydrogen. So nowhere compared to the 10 liters that the bacteria are producing. But it's but for some reason, just taking that extra addition of hydrogen through drinking it in water. Uh, it produces marked therapeutic effects, and, and it appears to be something to do with the homeostasis issue, um, and that's why that's why you get such marked benefits, even though you're taking a very small, relatively very small amount of hydrogen. 